Greetings, conscious entrepreneurs. I'm Sajda Wendy Muhammad. We've been talking all week about the psychology of doing big things. We've covered things like dealing with haters and loving ourselves and staying focused. I wanna talk real quickly about the power of love. We did talk about loving ourselves, but what I'm talking about is putting love in whatever it is that you do. You know, there's something magical about love. There's something magical, mystical, and mysterious about love that we have yet to discover. You know, love changes your DNA. It gives you uh, not only just focus, but courage. Love is that superpower that can make you overcome anything. And when you just stop for a minute and realize all that you've overcome and sit in gratitude and just say, Allah loves me and feel that love coursing through your body, I promise you it will change you. And when you feel it, just say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when you're doing your work, you're cooking the food for your restaurant, put some love in it. When you're designing something, think about love. Before you pick up the phone and call somebody, tap into the energy of love. Before you have that big conversation, think about love. Think about the transformative power of love and be grateful for it. So that's my advice in addition to all the other things for how we have to deal with big things. We have to approach them from the space of love because no matter what it is, no matter how difficult it is for us to face no matter how challenging, no matter how big the mountain looks, it is all designed to help us get closer to Allah and do better by ourselves and to grow and develop. So don't, don't reject love. Lean into love. Become love. And you'll see the difference in your life. And I don't mean, love don't mean you're a punk. <laughs> Some of the most powerful warriors that you may know are really loving souls. Love don't mean that you're sappy. Love don't mean that um, you got hearts and rainbows all the time. Take a minute to think about the definition of how or the mechanism on how God loves you. He keeps you breathing. He aborts disease from your body. He helps you. He allows you to overcome things that you had no idea that you needed to even be thinking about overcoming. God is always there. And so anything that's happening to us, happening in our body, happening in our lives, happening is just something that we have to face. And, with, and if we face it with the courage of love, we can overcome it. So face it. Face that big stuff. Deal with it. Deal with it in the space of love. So with that family, listen, don't forget, go to change.org slash Elijah Muhammad House. Sign the petition. We've been nominated for inclusion on the National Historic Registry. And the nomination discussion is going to happen on September 22nd. So we're celebrating. We're excited. So sign the petition of support. It's not a petition of protest. It's a petition of support and celebration. And go to sajidahouse.com, get your commemorative Elijah coins. That's going to help us with the renovation and the restoration. And if you want to donate, just go to Cash App, hit dollar sign Mo today, M-O-E-T-O-D-A-Y, and we take donations too. All right, peace and blessings, fam. Love. <laughs>